Welcome back, adventurers, to Let's Play Biohazard 3, Wheeled Survival. In the last episode, after returning the fuse to... Oh, after inserting the fuse into the cable car system, Jill and I decided to head over to the gas station in order to find uh, some measure of oil that we could use as the final ingredient to get the cable car up and running again. Now, uh, we did actually manage to find uh, some oil. We uh, unfortunately can't use it because uh, we actually need something else to uh, use in conjunction with the, uh, with the oil. Or maybe we need a different oil altogether. Who knows? But uh, we also ran into Carlos while we were at the Stagler gas station, but following on his heels uh, were another pack of zombies that had managed to get into the area. And uh, fortunately, Carlos was able to deal with them in short order thanks to his trusty assault rifle, although it did take the wind out of his sails a bit. But uh, shortly afterwards, uh, we pretty much had to leave the Stagler gas station because there was a uh, bit of an electrical spark that caused the entire place to go up in a blaze of fire. Explosions still uh, happening because of the, uh, the gasoline and the petrol and the oil and everything. But while we do have machine oil, it's, uh, yeah, again, it's not going to be necessary. Oh, well, it's not going to be useful in uh if we were to use it on the cable car as is it would probably uh destroy the engine i'm going to have to go back to the storage room and avoid any and all uh threats along the way is always a good plan of attack. Back through we go, yet again. Straight ahead, don't look back, don't look sideways, just keep on running. It's a very good thing that those dogs don't break through the glass door, because that would be uh, horrendously bad if we had to fight dogs in, this, uh, in these narrow alleys. Lo and behold, back in the storage room. Like so. And, uh... Hmm. a good idea to store away the, uh... Machine oil for now. We did get a first aid spray. Which is going to be, uh, exceptionally useful. Um, the question is what we need next. Um, I'm going to take the wrench, uh, keep the wrench on hand just in case. Might be useful. Um, I don't want to put away the Magnum or the grenade launcher, but it is going to be possible that uh, we might find some, some uh, shotgun ammunition, which would be, uh, you know what, I'm going to put the red herb, red herb away, take the shotgun just in case. Well, we're with the uh, gas station now completely inaccessible to us. Uh, we have uh, essentially explored pretty much the entirety of the uh, downtown area altogether. However, we're not done with the Raccoon City just yet. 
because there is still one more place that we uh, have yet to explore. And that's back here at the sales office. Of course, the way to the sales office is completely uh, cordoned off by fire, but... Um, well, we're... Uh, We're just going to have to go through. Now, uh, there was the fire hose back in this alleyway here, which will, uh, which is why we're taking the wrench, because that's pretty much going to be the only means of uh, getting the fire hose and then running all the way uh, straight down to there. But we have a long way to go, and in fact, uh, I hadn't dealt with the dogs uh, in this alleyway here um, at all. Oh my word. Well, we uh, pretty much have no other choice. We're going to have to go all the way back to the sales office. Which is a long road back to the uptown area. <sighs> Given the fact that it's uh, been quite a while, I imagine that... Uh, the streets will definitely be crawling with zombies and other creatures. I am, uh, I'm not going to be looking forward to this. So forward and right to avoid the uh, to avoid the drain demos, which is uh, gonna have to be quick on the draw on this one. I do not want to fight these creatures. Run! Oh. Get through the door. It's right behind us. <laughs> and at least uh, the dogs are gone, as well as the other zombies. There might be something in this car. There is. <laughs> there was going to be gunpowder, but it's grenade rounds, which is actually quite a bit more useful. Nothing else in the car. No zombies uh, behind this way. And I'm pretty sure that more creatures can actually break through these uh, barricades at uh, some point. Back in this safe, uh, this storage room. But I'm pretty sure that, uh, Oh, 
but while we've got plenty of heavy ammunition, that's not going to help us uh, with some of our uh, smaller ammunition. Still that uh, lingering, lingering sense of dread as we pass through the various locales of Raccoon City. And there are going to be dogs outside. A pack of them, if memory serves. Yeah, it was not worth dealing with these dogs. Run away. So you run over there. Oh my word. I'm regretting not taking a first aid spray with me right about now. I should have just run. There's a, uh, there's the fire hydrant. Let's loosen those bolts. And we can now take it with us. And the wrench is, uh, no longer useful. Let's have a look at this fire hose, shall we? we can connect it to a fire hydrant. No point in connecting it to this one. <sighs> now, unfortunately, I am uh, pretty much going to be in a bit of a pickle here because this alleyway was. Uh, Unfortunately, where the rain demos were foreshadowed, and uh, my word, yeah. I really should have just uh, run from those dogs. <sighs> I have no choice. Probably going to have to run from the Deimos as well. Yeah, they're here. Um, didn't get that oil drum, but uh, yet again, I'll take it. This area is probably not going to be safe either. 
Of course it's not. Word. Um. Run away. Don't run into them. Oh my word. Dogs. Dogs are in the Sally way, because of course they are. Um. Hmm. Maybe not, but, uh. Pretty sure that this uh, save room has uh, the items I'm thinking of, so uh, just bear with me and I'll uh, just have a check. All right, I'm. Uh... Yeah, this was uh, where I put these items before. Oh, I'm gonna have to take that lighter with me. Um... And I'm gonna have to get the items from the, um... <sighs> from the police station as well, when we actually get back to the downtown area too. Oh boy, this is, this is going to certainly shape up to be, uh, such fun. Probably gonna be dogs outside. Maybe the uh, maybe the dogs just got tired and left. I mean, people have been wandering around, and by people, I of course mean uh, Nikolai and Carlos. So, uh, we can ex um, use this fire hose on the hydrant to extinguish the fire. Let's do that. There we go. Bit of a rocky start, but, uh, Bit of a rocky start, but the flames have been extinguished. Which means that this area is now open and accessible to us. In here and I'm still filled with a, filled with a sense of apprehension. in this place. And there are zombies in that building. And uh, blue herbs, which uh, not really sure if I should uh, take those with me. You know what? 
better be safe than sorry. Now we'll take them. <sighs> Only for the fact that we'll uh, might end up being poisoned later. We're not doing too well on handgun rounds, so grenade launcher it is. Which is probably going to be a bit of a um Better safe than sorry. Oh my word. Okay, that took care of one. No, I wasted a shot. That is a wall. That is a uh, wall detonator there. Don't want to get too close to that. If we time it just right. Because you know what I don't want to waste the grenade round on. Come on. I know you're camping in front of the door there. Oh, you're going that way. Of course you are. <sighs> Gurgle all you want. You're just going to hang out by the door, aren't you? Use the few, few um, use the few rounds, but um, well, at least we didn't have to use that wall detonator. Now the problem with detonators is that uh, if we're too close to them. Um, we're too close to them. That will uh, cause damage to us as well. More importantly, we want this, this bright, shiny crank, which is a square-edged crank, which, if memory serves, can be used at the back of the, um, right here at the back of the bar jack, which is probably uh, a good, well, it's the only place we're going to use it. and uh, barricades around. Nothing else that's... Uh... Nothing else that's uh... really worth mentioning. Um... So, uh, I 
I am actually tempted to call this an episode since it was a uh, quite a long way from uh, where we were in the up in the downtown area to get back to the uptown area. But uh, in any event, adventurers, uh, when we return, we shall head into the sales office and see what we can find. Hopefully, something useful, which will be absolutely great. As always, adventurers, until next we meet.